Hi, um, my friend Josh, who, who is taking this uh, video, and I last night went to see Blade Runner 2049, and um, I found the movie somewhat uh, long and loud and depressing. Now, it's a dystopia, which means uh, it's a fancy way of saying things are just not going to work out in the future, or it's a picture of the future which is like uh, dyspeptic. Um, but uh, one thing that uh, one might say in general why the movie is kind of uh, glum and, and uh, somewhat irrelevant is that everybody in the movie is dead. I mean, when you open the movie up, and when you end the movie, most of the people, if not all, except for Harrison Ford, everyone is dead. <laughs> I mean, they're fakes, they're robots, they're machines, and they can be killed, it doesn't matter. You can remanufacture them, put some new memories in them, and fix up their body parts, but basically they're dead. And uh, the beautiful girls are dead, or they're going to die, or they're both dead and they're about to be killed even though they're dead, so it's like uh, strangely beautiful zombieism. You, you gotta kill dead people. And um, the Rachel that you are happy to see, this uh, joyful face of, um, uh, young, Sean Young, she's dead. All that's left of her are her bones. And they resurrect her again. But it's not much of a resurrection. She's going to die quickly, so she gets shot. And so the dead come back, but they don't come back that well. And so Rachel is dead. And um, that just makes it hard to... Um, uh, relate to a movie that has so much death in it. Um, the, the, of course, the Christian story is about death, too, and that is that uh, Jesus will die, but he will bring life to everyone. So there's a meaning to the death of a man, of a human being, and uh, that uh, meaning is that he will forgive sins and bring life. But in the case of the replicants, um, they can't uh, redeem each other. They, they, you can't have dead people saving uh, other dead people. And so there's a certain emptiness of the, the vision, uh, at least this time around. Maybe they'll fix it up next time. The first Blade Runner was not so depressing. <clears throat> but this one is fairly glum, and um, I think that's about it.